Hey guys, I've been getting a number of questions asking me, is it possible to make an Android backup directly to an external drive or USB stick like I have right here, instead of taking the internal storage on your device and wasting your space? The short answer is yes, you do need an additional cable. You can see this right here. It's an OTG cable or on the go cable. You can find these on Amazon. They're around one or two pounds. One end is a micro USB. The other end is a full USB and that's all you're gonna need. And it's very simple to actually do. So we're just gonna go ahead and reboot into the recovery. I am using TWRP if you're wondering, so recovery go. Now I should mention that not all devices support the OTG functionality. Most new devices do, but for example the Nexus 4 is one that didn't. The hardware just didn't support the voltage needed to actually power up the external drives. You had to use a different cable and actually use external power. It was very annoying, but most new devices don't have that problem. The Nexus 5 doesn't have that problem. So once you're booted into your custom recovery, go ahead and plug the OTG cable in followed by your drive or your USB stick. Now in terms of the format here, I am using FAT32. I think External 4 is also supported. NTFS can be read, but I don't think it can be written to, especially on stock kernel. I think if you're on a different kernel that maybe has the module included, you can actually write to NTFS, but I haven't got that included right now. So we'll just use this version. So we'll, we'll plug it in. And that's pretty much it. Now just go ahead and go to backup. Go to the storage section, you can see it says inter internal storage. Well, we don't want that, so we'll tap that. You can see it says USB on the go. Right now it says zero megabytes, we'll tap it. You'll see it reads the drive and I've got just under two gig, so not too much there. Press okay. Now, obviously you pick which sections you want to uh, back up. I can't include the data partition because I don't have three plus gigabytes on this drive free. So uh, we'll just have to leave it at system and data. Swipe to back up. And there you go, it's now backing up to the USB stick and not to the internal storage. It's gonna save you a lot of space on your device. You don't have to keep a backup on there and you can also restore from the USB as well. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And we're done. It probably will take a little bit longer than if you were to do this on your internal storage because you know it's gonna depend on your write speeds for your external drive. But yeah, it's now on the, uh, the USB stick right here. So if we go back a few times, we can actually go to restore. And you can see right now it says storage USB OTG. If we can go to the internal storage, you can see none, no more space has been used up. There's nothing on the internal storage. If we go to the USB OTG, you can see it right there. There's the backup, it's found it straight away. You can click into that and again, you can just restore the certain partitions that you want to. So there you go guys, you can make an Android backup to an external drive using the OTG cable. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out.